guys, Sandra from NetbookNews.com with the new Asus ePad Transformer Prime. Well, it's not so new anymore. I think it got out like six or seven weeks ago. But about two weeks ago, we've had an update to Ice Cream Sandwich, Android 4.0. Right now it's running on Android 4.03. And of course, there are so many people out there that will love to have this also on their tablet, but they don't have an Asus ePad Transformer Prime. So what I'm going to show you tonight well, it is tonight actually, it's dark outside, <laughs> is how to flash your custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 and what to do so that you're not rigging the device and uh, to get uh, a Cyanogen Mod 9 port of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Galaxy Tab 10.1 so you can also experience the Ice Cream Sandwich goodness. So let's take a look at it, how to do that. Okay, what you definitely want to do is uh, do a backup of your personal documents on there, your contacts, your files, whatever. And then we need to get the clockwork mod recovery on this device. And therefore, we need this little USB cable here. And if you're looking for all these files, what we're going to do is uh, we're linking a download package, which is called Files for Dummies. And you can see all the files that you need to uh, make this flash happen. There is there are the recent USB drivers available. Um, you can see uh, a stock ROM, a uh, Honeycomb 3.1 ROM, so you can always go back. And uh, there's Odin on there, and then there's a clockwork mode recovery that we definitely need right now. So what we're going to do is connect it to your computer, and then it's installing the device driver software. I'm using a Windows 64-bit. Windows 7 Professional, that is on my on my Sony here. Okay, we're ready to use. And there we go. So we're just opening the folder of the tablet, and then all I'm doing is I'm copying the recovery mod image in here. Okay, that's about it unplug it and then we're going to switch it off okay so how are we getting the fancy ice cream sandwich on the Galaxy Tab 10.1 what you need is of course your USB cable so you can connect it to your computer and you need a couple of files um, there is a download link in the description of this video and they're called Fights for Dummies. So you have USB drivers in there, a stock Honeycomb 3.1 ROM, you need the, uh, the Odin tool and there's a Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we need to get Clockwork Mod Recovery on this device and first of all we need to switch it off. That's what we're doing right now. And then we need to set it to the download mode. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. Just press the power button, volume down, and wait for six to seven seconds. And then you will see there's a different boot screen coming up right now. There you go. And that's uh, the Android over here. And then just press the volume up just to set it to download mode. Okay. And now we're starting on our system, the Odin software. Here we go. And under PDA, you're opening the Clockwork Mod Recovery file. Just double check it, it's in here. And then we're connecting our Samsung Galaxy Tab over USB. So as you can, as you can see, there's another warning. So if you really want to continue, press volume up. So. You heard that it's now installing the device driver software. Let's make this a little bit better. You can see that everything is fine. And actually, the Odin tool already recognized the Galaxy tab on this COM port over here. Right? And then all you have to do is just say start. And then Fingers crossed, it worked. There you go. You can see now. That everything.
everything is fine. Succeeded. Okay, that was step one. So now that we have the recovery mod on here, um, all we need right now is to copy the new ice cream sandwich image over onto the Galaxy tab. It takes a while. As you can see, it's synchronizing now. Well, 60 minutes. That's a problem with USB 2.0. <laughs> I think with USB 3.0. Oh, there we go. That's about it. Okay, unplug it. And then switch it off. There we go. And then we need to go into the recovery mode again. And uh, you will see it looks a little bit different right now. Okay. Power button, volume down. And as you can see, right now we are on this menu again. But we don't need to go to downloading, but to um, the recovery symbol. And then press volume up. And if everything is fine, there comes the clockwork mod recovery. Now all you need to do right now is, uh, first of all, to have a clean install. Make sure that you're wiping your data and that you're doing this factory reset. You're always confirming it with the power button and volume up and volume down is just, you know, going through the menu. Let's delete all the data. So basically, this clockwork mod recovery are, is now a substitute to the original Android recovery. And what I'm also doing all the time is just, uh, I'm also doing web cache partition. Here we go. Okay, that's about it. Now we're ready to uh, install the zip from the SD card and there you can see already that I can choose a zip from the SD card and then we should find our custom ROM over there. There it is, Clockwork Mod 9 Kang ICS 4.0 zip and that's about it. Now we're saying OK, install it and now it's getting ice cream sandwich on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. This is going to take a while and uh, yeah, we will be back soon. So after a while, you got this message, install from SD card is complete. So all we need to do is now, we're going back and we're booting the system. Well, don't be concerned if the very first boot just takes a while. That's always happening. So that's absolutely normal. I can't even tell you if there would be a different boot animation. There is a different boot animation. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work out. So after about like two or three minutes, that's your new welcome screen of Ice Cream Sandwich. And uh, we're turning on the Wi-Fi here. So let me just connect to our Wi-Fi in the office here. So all you guys know our password now. Here we go. Let's uh, switch it to the Taipei time here. Oh, let's go down. There's Taipei. Next. And um, let's sign in with my Gmail account. show you my password now. Here we go. Uh, 
And now it's restoring um, my account to this device with all my settings, Wi-Fi settings and email and apps and, you know, whatever you need. Here we go. Yes, I want to use Google Location, whatever. Get all my data. And this phone, it's kind of interesting because it always says this phone belongs to me. And here we go. Welcome to the world. Okay, 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 I got it. Welcome to the world of ice cream sandwich. As you can see, it's running absolutely smooth. Comes with all these nice widgets. Uh, Wi-Fi is working perfectly. So, yeah. This is based, again, on Cyanogen uh, Mod 9. It's a fantastic port. The only thing that doesn't work is uh, the camera, but you know what? I don't care about this on a 10.1 inch uh, device like this. So that's the easiest way for you to get ice cream sandwich on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. And you know, always remember that you're doing this at your own risk. So if you're doing this step by step, you download the right files that are here in the description of our video, you know, you can't do anything wrong with it. That's the Samsung Galaxy Tab. 10.1 running ice cream sandwich. I'm Sasha von der Thanks for watching.